Hello, I'm Taya Gurken with Peghead Nation, and what you just heard and saw was Scott Nygaard playing the guitar that I'm holding here now, which is a brand new Taylor 810E Deluxe. The Taylor 810 has been a very important model uh, in Taylor's history. As a matter of fact, the 810 was really the first guitar that Taylor built that had an actual model name. It was introduced in 1975, and it was introduced as the 800 series, which at the time uh, was comprised of an 810, which was the Dreadnought, and 815, with, which was the Jumbo. So it's an instrument that has been around throughout Taylor's history, and if there's one guitar that's kind of the iconic Taylor, the 810 is probably the one. Now, of course, the guitar um, has seen a lot of changes over the years, uh, but it's always stayed true to being uh, a rosewood and spruce dreadnought um, with uh, a certain set of appointments uh, that kind of makes it identifiable as an 800 series. And even those have changed a little bit over the years. But let's take a look at this guitar that I have on hand right here. A couple of years ago, uh, Taylor's Andy Powers revamped the entire 800 series. Um, with a few new appointments and some uh, new voicing, different sounds all around. And that's essentially uh, still true to the, with the guitar that I'm holding here now. But the deluxe package adds a few features to the standard 800 um, guitar. This guitar has a uh, small arm bevel. It's a slightly smaller version than the uh, one that you might find on Taylor's 900 or uh, higher end custom models. And it has Adirondack bracing uh, inside the top, which is probably tonally uh, the largest difference between this and a standard 800 series guitar. It also uses Goto 510 tuners with a 21 to 1 to gear ratio instead of Taylor's standard uh, tuning machines. So those are the differences between this deluxe version and a standard 800. Uh, but let's look at the things that it shares with the standard 810 design. The guitar has a solid Sitka spruce top, Indian rosewood back and sides, it's a mahogany neck. Um, it has an ebony fingerboard and bridge, and uh, I really like the piece of ebony that they've used for the fingerboard on this guitar. Uh, Taylor, of course, uh, now runs an ebony mill in Cameroon, Africa, and there's been uh, there's been a lot of talk about using ebony that is not perfectly black, just to use that uh, precious resource a little bit uh, more carefully, and. This, I think, is a fabulous example of showing how you can use ebony uh, that has some coloring in it in a very beautiful way. I mean, this is really a one-of-a-kind uh, kind of a, a figure on this fingerboard, and I think it looks great on this guitar. 800 series tailors used to have uh, plastic, uh, white plastic binding on the uh, neck and the body. Um, more recently, the company has switched to maple, uh, which looks great. It really creates a more organic uh, appearance than the, the white plastic did. So this guitar also has uh, maple binding on the fingerboard and the body uh, with simple purfling on the inside and a rosette that includes some abalone in there. And the guitar also has the new uh, wooden pickguard that Taylor started using once they revamped the 800 series a couple of years ago, rather than the old plastic pickguard that is standard on most other Taylor guitars. The guitar has Taylor's standard 25 and a half inch scale. It has a one and three quarter inch nut width, so slightly wider than uh, many traditional dreadnoughts. And it includes Taylor's ES2 pickup system, which is Taylor's latest original pickup system, which uses three piezo sensors behind the saddle embedded in the bridge itself. Uh, there's a preamp in the guitar with controls for volume and uh, bass and treble and battery access at the back of the guitar right here. One of the cool things about the 810 has always been that it's a really versatile guitar. Uh, people have used it for really all kinds of musical styles. Uh, we're going to get back to uh, Scott playing it a little bit more bluegrass style with a flat pick. But let me show you what it sounds like played finger style. I'm in dad got tuning, and I think you'll agree that the guitar creates a really nice, rich sound even uh, when I'm playing it rather softly.
nice, rich, balanced sound, not boomy like some dreadnoughts would be. Uh, quite a bit of volume, and I noticed that when I was uh, listening to Scott play the guitar earlier as well. It's a very powerful, loud guitar with a huge dynamic range. <laughs> Let's also listen to the ES2 pickup system plugged into a uh, Fishman Loudbox mini amplifier right here. I've got the EQ flat on the guitar and the amp, and uh, I'm just going to strum a few chords for you to see what the guitar sounds like in an amplified context. So I'm strumming the guitar with a fairly heavy flat pick, and we're still getting a nice natural sound, which is something that's difficult for many pickups to reproduce uh, when you're really kind of digging into the guitar. And the ES2 really does a fabulous job at that. And uh, of course, right now, everything was set flat. I could process that sound a little bit further. Um, but I think uh, it's, a, it's a very nice system that you could use on stage in the studio in a lot of different situations, and uh, really sound good with a minimum of, of, of effort to, uh, to really make the guitar sound natural in an amplified setting. So that's Taylor's new 810E Deluxe. Uh, it's a very cool guitar. Uh, it's nice to see Taylor adding these deluxe appointments uh, to some of their standard 800 series guitars. Um, they are Taylor dealers now, so definitely check them out for yourself. And please come back and visit us for more gear demos here on Peghead Nation. My name is Taya Gurkin. <laughs>